One thing that will probably always exist are spectacles, or commonly known as glasses. The first eyeglasses were made in northern Italy, most likely in Pisa, by about the year 1290. On some accounts, wearing spectacles was sometimes considered socially humiliating. However, nowadays this perception changed as this object seems rather dull as we take it for granted. So much so that some people wear glasses just for fashion purposes rather than vision problems. Today we will look at Luxottica, the world's largest eyewear company in the world. Founded 58 years ago in in 1961 by Leonardo del Vecchio, it is the world's largest company in the eyewear industry with revenues that are slightly less than 9 billion euros. As a vertically integrated company, Luxottica designs, manufactures, distributes and retails its eyewear brands, owning iconic brands ranging from Ray-Ban to Burberry and has thousands of shops across the world, including Sunglass Hut and Lens Crafters. Luxottica also makes sunglasses and prescription frames for designer brands such as Chanel, Prada, Giorgio Armani and Dolce Gabbana. It all started in the small town of Agordo, situated in the province of Belluno. Leonardo del Vecchio born to an impoverished family, he began his career with only a high school education as the apprentice to a tool and dye maker in Milan, but decided to turn his metalworking skills to making spectacle parts. So in 1961 he moved to Agordo in the province of Belluno, which is home to most of the Italian eyewear industry. The new company was Luxatica, a limited partnership with del Vecchio as one of the founding partners. In 1967 he started selling complete eyeglass frames under the Luxottica brand, which proved successful enough that by 1971 he ended the contract manufacturing business. Convinced of the need for vertical integration, in 1974 he acquired Scarone, a distribution company. In 1981 the company set up its first international subsidiary in Germany, the first in a rapid period of international expansion. The first of many licensing deals with a designer was struck with Armani in 1988. The company listed in New York in 1990 and in Milan in December 2000, joining the Italian stock exchange index in September 2003. The listing raised money for the company and allowed it to use its shares to acquire other brands, starting with Italian brand Vogue Eyewear in 1990, Purcell and Ray-Ban in 1999. Luxadica later increased its presence in the retail sector by acquiring Sydney-based OPSM in 2003, Pearl Vision and Cole National in 2004. Luxadica acquired Oakley in November 2007 for $2.1 billion. Oakley had previously tried to dispute their prices because of Luxadica a large market share and Luxottica responded by dropping Oakley from their stores, causing their stock price to drop, followed by Luxottica's hostile takeover of the company. On September 2014, a new organizational structure was announced, composed of two co-CEOs, one focusing on market development and the other overseeing corporate function. In January 2017, the company agreed on a merger with Essler to help offer a succession plan for Leonardo Del Vecchio, the company's founder. On October 1, 2018, the new holding company Essler, Luxottica, was founded, resulting in combined market capitalization of approximately 57 billion euros. The company has been criticized for the high price of its brand name classes such as Ray-Ban, Oakley and several others. Several documentaries focus on whether the company's extensive holdings in the industry were used to keep prices high. Luxottica owns not only a large portfolio of over a dozen brands such as Ray-Ban and Oakley, but also retailers such as Sunglass Hut and Oliver Peebles, the optical departments at Target and Sears, as well as key eye insurance groups including including IMED Vision Care, the second largest vision insurance firm in the US, extending Luxottica's control over part of the buyer's market as well. It has been accused of operating a complete monopoly on the optical industry and overcharging for its products, for example, temporarily dropping competitor Oakley from its frame design list, then, when the company stock crashed, purchasing the company followed by an increase in prices of its Ray-Ban sunglasses. The company has said that the market is highly competitive and that their frames account for approximately 10% of sales worldwide and 20% in the US. It is estimated that Luxottica's market share was 14% worldwide, with the second largest company in the industry, Essilor, holding a 13% market share. In October 2018, Luxottica and Essilor merged into a single company, Essilor Luxottica, which now occupies nearly 30% of the global market share and represents almost a billion pairs of lenses and frames sold annually. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.